everyone i have an exciting video for you today i wanted to share with you the perfect dyson airwrap dupe um i know that throughout the years there's been 101 you know dyson airwrap dupes out in the market I initially really wanted the dyson airwrap um however i just couldn't justify the price tag of 600 dollars i can easily justify handbags shoes and outerwear however for a hair device i cannot so after many many months of research since the dyson airwrap launch here we are in 2021 finally i've landed on an airwrap dupe that i think could be it um so today i'm gonna try it i ordered it um shipping everything was quick easy no problem it is called the curly air so here is everything that came in the packaging as you can see i didn't open to use it yet i wanted to show it and try it on camera so that everyone can see like a real like you know try on or maybe not try on but like you get what i mean last night i took a shower when i got home i roughly air dried it um, it was like maybe 15% wet and then I was laying in bed watching YouTube until I fell asleep So this is how I woke up I kind of wanted to do this video and try the curly air for the first time as I would Any other day in my normal life first things first um, this is the body um, basically it would be where all of the nozzles will will go um it says curly right here um and then it seems like this is like the power um controller so it has zero one two three obviously assuming that three is probably the highest doesn't feel as smooth to navigate but again a dupe for a 600 hundred dollar machine like what do you expect you can't like you can't expect too much okay um here's the cord the first um brush nozzle looks like this um it's not too great of a quality like if you see like there's holes that don't have like the uh, bristle coming out of it um not sure what the uh, reasoning for that is but again it's it's a dupe for $600 hair machinery um, I'm not too concerned about it and I'm probably not really going to use this much anyways um, here's the second brush nozzle yeah it's just a standard brush nozzle and then we have the nozzle for the hair dryer portion here it is it looks so much like the dyson one i just have to assume that like maybe the dyson one has a little bit more weight to it this one just feels so light because it's probably just plastic but you know dyson air wrap with you know all the signs behind it on and all of that i'm sure it's like aluminum like something i don't know the real exciting part are the two curling nozzles so the dyson air wrap they come with two curling nozzles it's for each direction this one um it doesn't have the arrow on the barrel but it has the arrow on the cool tip there if you can see um so that's pretty cool at least it does have an indication because otherwise i feel like when you have two curling nozzles like what's the point so yeah first impression after unboxing i'm super impressed now i'm going to plug this in now i'm curious if like the hair dryer portion is just one temperature and then you know it goes up to like three power or what I'm going to just go right in i'm going to start with the hair dryer all right so I don't know i'm a little nervous like how does this turn on though oh it's like cool air whoa look at that power and it's only on one okay okay that was only on one and that was like pretty powerful if you ask me and it's much cooler air it's not it wasn't like warm but let's see if i put it on three if it's like hot air 
Yeah. Okay, so when you put it up to three power, it gets warmer. I do want to mention that it smells like it's burning. <laughs> like, I don't know, it just smells like um, chemicals, maybe? Um, I don't know, but maybe I'll just stick to power, one power. Okay, so the drying portion not too terrible however the nozzle is super super hot right now granted i tried the um third power for like not too long so the nozzle is really hot i'm going to try this um comb nozzle i'll do power two no smell Okay, this brush is so nice and I put it on the second power and it was like semi um, warm air um, but I feel like this brush is not like flimsy where it'll like start bending with like the hot air and this is a pretty decent um comb nozzle um i want to try it on this side where my hair is like sort of like naturally wavy and like whatever from air drying last night and sleeping right away so i'm gonna put it back to two power and then comb through <laughs> I didn't want to take too much time like doing it but look at that like I feel like that's just so decent like this is the part that I did it and I feel like that's just so decent like if I had spent more time with it it probably would have been even straighter even better this is approved it's a little warm it's not too warm but again I was on two power not three power like the drying nozzle so keep that in mind I don't have much expectations for this I assume that because this is a round comb um, nozzle it's more for like when you want to like curl the ends in so I'll try it to try it um. it does like do the whole like combing through and like whatever and I think if I had put in some more effort and more time to like kind of do it I think it really would curl it in or out whichever way I feel like I don't really know how to use this one, so I'm not making the most out of it. So, if anyone like has a better hand at using sort of uh, brush nozzles like this in their um, hair machinery, then this is for you because it was fine. The bristles are fine. They didn't like melt or like bend. I am most excited about this guy, the curling nozzle. So this nozzle um, is 
has arrows going this way. So I assume, like, what does that mean? So, okay, yeah, so it would be like this side. Does this do the air wrap thing, or is it just like you're getting the, you know, imitation like nozzle and like, you know, the look of the machinery, or does it actually also dupe the functionality of the Dyson air wrap? Let's see. I'll just do power two. <laughs> So maybe Okay, I need to do some research on this because I'm not sure how to properly use this and I don't feel like I'm doing it justice, so be right back. I did some research just now and I want to start over with this comb brush nozzle because I realized that I... So when I want like a blowout look and not like a straight up like curled hair or like wavy hair look, I always go in with rollers to like kind of like grab the pieces that sort of frame my head or like my face to kind of like do like a roll in situation so that when I release it kind of frames my face like really nicely and gives me this like natural like blowout look. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to do that. You see like how it kind of like gives you this like like it kind of gives you some volume up at the roots and it gives you like a natural like you know situation and a lot of like Korean um, hair salons and like beauty tips is all about using the rollers and kind of like having your hair like have some volume in the front and that's how you get like a goddess look right um so this is perfect for that i'm really liking this because sometimes i actually like i have to admit that i hate using um rollers because not only does it like move around and like flop over but i also have to go in with like really like hot heat for like a few seconds and then like cool off because you have to remember that when you cool off that's what holds the um shape of what you know whatever you're doing to your hair um not the heat so at first you just like go in with like super high heat and then like cool off right and that's just like sometimes too cumbersome but I've been doing it that way um, whenever I wanted that look, that blowout look. But now that I have this, I think it would be much easier to achieve. I actually really like that. Um, okay, so I just watched a video that I found. Um, again, there's not much like exposure on this. So, you know, it's more the reason why I'm kind of glad that I was able to snag this and kind of show you guys because I really think it's worth it. Um, so the thing with this is, as with most Dyson air wrap dupes, is it doesn't fully have that air wrap um, functionality because obviously Dyson is pioneers of the air wrap function because, you know, it's like beauty plus science. So I would imagine that 
because it's backed by you know science and technology like whatever it's like why would these dupes that are like you know a fraction of the price also be able to do that right so um that's fair that's a fair like you know thing for me like i wouldn't expect like a dupe that's again a fraction of the price to give me the same um technology behind it uh because again there's a reason why dyson is dyson and dyson was charging an arm and a leg for the dyson air wrap but that's besides the point um so i watched a video that i managed to find and it was a not great video but um i am going to do what the model did and show you <laughs> okay that was like soft and subtle okay that's like soft and subtle because i just like couldn't quite get it um few things so when i wanted to do that just now i went to three power because i just figured like i like a little bit more like tighter curls that i can then like loosen out because naturally because of the weight of my hair and you know throughout the day they just like your curls just drop so might as well get it a little bit tighter in the beginning um three power it just smells <laughs> it stinks so bad um but I don't know i still like this so maybe i won't use three power i'll just stick to two because even when you use two it doesn't like give you a smell of any any sort um however i still need to get used to like how to like do this so the video that i watched on this that actually came from the brand i believe um the model like had initially like wrapped it around the barrel herself and then kind of let the air do its thing and then like started like rolling up and then released um i don't know if it's because i have thicker hair that that's kind of a little bit more difficult to do but i'm gonna try again but on two power Okay, I literally watched the model do it, so it's not a lie, but I just feel like I need to somehow get myself to do this correctly. Okay, be right back. Wait, that was better i might have to like replay that footage to see like what i did but i feel like once i get a hand at this and like get used to it i feel like i'll have like a groove and i don't i'm not mad at this curl at all okay ready <laughs> That's not bad at all. 
Wait, I'm a little excited because I'm like, this is kind of fun. I put my um, straight strands like in the back so you can see it better. But look, isn't that cute? Or maybe is it because I can't tell? Wait, guys, what do you think? I just, I feel like if I spend a little bit more time to kind of like get to know how to fully use this, um, I think it's going to be awesome. Again, the nozzles are a little hot after use. And I can't imagine the Dyson does that, um, or or maybe I feel like they probably provide gloves, right? I'm not sure. Um, it would be nice if um, they provided gloves too. Okay, now I'm trying the nozzle that goes the other way. So let's go. Let's try this. think that's bad okay the nozzle is really hot do you think that's bad I feel like that's good okay one more maybe a few more <laughs> What do you guys think? I feel like it's like, I feel like it's good. I feel like it's me. You know, it's not like the machine. I feel like it's me. Well, I don't know. I'll have to play around with it a little more, but so far I am liking what I'm seeing. Um, so I'm ha all in all, I'm really happy that I decided to finally pull the trigger and get myself a Dyson Airwrap dupe. So to summarize, this is the drying nozzle. This is powerful. Um, I can imagine um, this is going to do a great job in dr drying my hair. I'm excited to use this on a day-to-day -day basis. I would probably use this on power one just because it's like that cooler air and it's not so like so much like heat on your um, hair that ultimately like ruins your hair this is another curling brush um again i showed you guys how i created that like blowout look and sort of like that um volumized like um blowout look and you know goddess look um so yeah really enjoyed this too i really thought i wasn't gonna use this or i didn't really have much expectation for this but this is great so this brush nozzle is um probably more for when your hair is damp um, you go in with this while brushing down and it dries and straighten your hair at the same time and lastly the curling nozzles so again each nozzle has an arrow in which um, you know determines okay like the, this arrow is that way so you know the curls would face that way and go out that way and then this one goes this way right um, I don't think like you have to like Put your mind around this and kind of be like oh like well this arrow is supposed to like you, i don't think you need that um i think probably for the dyson air wrap um it probably makes the difference um however this one you know as a dupe i think you could probably just stick with one um curling wand 
and call it a day. I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. Contrary to the real Dyson Airwrap, right? Um, that's six hundred dollars. Um, the whole marketing and the catch about that is that it's the Airwrap technology, and this as a dupe. And I don't like God knows like who made this or where it came from, but obviously it doesn't have the Airwrap technology, nor should it, because you know then they would be Dyson themselves, right? Um, but for what it is you know, to be a dupe of a $600 machinery. Um, I do think it is worth it for what it does. Um, look at those waves. And this is, this was created with, you know, my very like little knowledge of like how to like get this to work for me the way that I want it to. And that said, I do think it's a good dupe and it's a, a dupe that impressed me versus like the other ones that I've seen or read reviews on. All right, so that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were able to get some insight and some tips. See you guys next time. Bye.